A Letter from Italy by Joseph Edison, Salva Magna Parens Fugum Saturnia Tellus, Magna Virum, Tibi Res Antiques, Laudes et Artes Agreditur, Sanctus Ausus Recludere Fontes. By you, my lord, the rural shades admire, and from Britannia's public post retire, no longer her ungrateful sons to please, for what advantage sacrifice your ease. Mean to foraging, will arms my fate conveys, for nations fruitful of immortal lace, where the soft session and inviting climb conspire to trouble your repose with rhyme. For rest all while I turn my wavish eyes, a gilded scenes and shining prospects rise, where the fields encompass me around, and still I seem to treat on classic ground. For here the muse soft, the harp is strung, but not a mountain rears its head unsung. When now and worse each shady thing grows, and every stream in heavily numbers flows. All my pledge to search the hills and woods, the rising springs and celebrated floods, to view the now tumultuous in his course, and trace the smooth cadures to his source, to see the minic draw his word restore for the long winding of a fruitful shore, and draw Albula's infected tide of a warm bed of smoking scalp or glide. Fired of a thousand rages, eyes away, and drones through flowers made of stray. The king of flutes, and rolling over plains, the touring alps of half a monster drains, and promptly thrown of the whole winter's snows, distributes wealth and plenty way flows. Sometimes misguided by the tuneful throng, I look for streams immolized in song, I lost in silence and oblivion lie, dumb are their fountains and their channels dry. Yet run forever with a muse skill, and in the smooth description murmur still. Sometimes to gentle Tiber I retire, and the famed river's empty shores admire, the destitute of strength drives its course, of thrifty hewns and an unfruitful source. Yet sung soft in a poetic lace, with scorn the Danube and the near so ways. So high the deathless muse exhales her theme, such was the boyne, a poor and glorious stream. But the Hilbernian waves obscurely strayed, and unobserved in a wide measure's plight, till by your lines and Nassau's sword renowned, its rising bellows through the world resound. Where the hero's godlike act can pice, or where the fame of an immortal verse, or could the muse my very breast inspire, with warmth like yours and grace and equal fire, unnumbered beauties in my world should shine, and Regil's Italy should wire to mine. See how the golden groves around me smile, which shun the coast of Britain's stormy isle, or when transplanted and preserved of care, cruise the gold climb and star for northern air. Ye kindly warm for mountain juice for mats, to notable tastes and more exacted scenes. Even the rough rocks with tender myrtle bloom, and trodden weeds send out a rich perfume, bear me some god to bales gentle seeds, or cover me in Ambrian's green retreats. The western gales eternally reside, and all the stations lavished all their pride. Blossoms and fruits and flowers together rise, and the whole year in gay confusion lies. Immortal glories in my mind revive, and in my soul a thousand passions strive. When Rome's exhale beauties I descry, magnificent and pites of ruin lie. An amphitheus amazing high, here fills my eye with terror and delight, that on its public shows unpeopled Rome, and held and crowded nations in its womb. Here Pella's roof of sculpture pierces the skis, and here the pro-triumphal arches rise. The old Roman's deathless act displayed, the base degenerated portion upbraid. Our rivers here forsaken, and fields below, and wandering ever high through air channels flow. Still to new scenes my wandering muse retires, and the dumb shower of breathing rocks admires, where the smooth chisel of its force has shown, and so often into flesh rugged stone, in sonly silence a majestic band, heroes and gods, Roman consuls stand, stern children of the cruelties renowned, and emperors and parian marble throne, a bright dame to whom we have sought, still shown the charms with a proud heart so bold. Fain would I rave its godlike art rehearse, and showed immortal labors in my verse, where from the mangled strength of shade and light, new creation rises to my sight. Such heavy figures from his pencil flow, so warm with life his blended colors glow, from theme to theme with seek pleasure toast, amidst the soft variety I'm lost. 
a pleasing airs my very soul confound with circling notes and labyrinths of sound your dooms and temples rise in distant views and opening places invite my muse i was kind heaven adorned the happy land and scatter blessing with a wasteful hand but what evil her unexhausted story of blooming mountains and the sunny shores with all the gifts that heaven and earth impart the smiles of nature and the charms of art her proud oppression and her welly reigns, and to run I as robes her happy plains. The poor inhabitant behold in vain, the ragged orange and the swelling grain. Joyously sees the growing oils and wines, and in the myrtle's fragrant shade repines. Starves in the midst of nature's bounty cursed, and in the loudened wine yard dies for thirst. Our liberty, O God, is heavily bright, profuse of blithes and pregnant with delight. Eternal pleasures and the presence regain, and smiling when he leads the waiting train. He stole her load subjection, grow more light, and poverty looks cheerful in the sight. Or makes the gloomy face of nature gay, gives beauty to the sun and pleasure to the day. We goddess, we, Britannia's isle adores, how has she often exhausted on her stores? Oft at fields of death, the present sword, nor thinks the mighty price too dearly bought. And for mountains may the sun refine, the grapes soft juice and mellow it to wine. The citron grows adorn a distant soil, and the fat olive swell the fruits of oil. We annoy not the warmer clime but lies, and any grease of more in darkened skies. And all the causes of our haven repine, who o'er our heads the frozen plates and shine. This liberty that trembles Britannia's isle, and makes the barren rocks and the bleak mountains smile. I was with towering pills, may pleasure the sight, and in the proud aspiring doom's delight, and as I touch to the strength of Canaeus give, or teach the animated rocks to live. Tis Britannia care to watch o'er Europe's fate, and hold in balance each contending state, to threaten bold presumed this kings with war, and answer afflicted neighbours prayer. The Dane and sweet, roused up by fire alarms, bless the wise conduct of her pious arms. Soon as her fleets appear, the terrors keys, and all an earthen world lies hustled in peace. From vicious gold, beholds with secret greed, a thunder aimed at his inspiring head, and fain a godlike sons would disunite by foreign gold or by domestic spite. But strives in vain to concur or divide, whom missile arms defend and countenance guide. Fire with the name, which I so often have found, listen climes and different tongues resound. A bridle in my strutting muse with pain, but long to launch into a bolder strain. But I've already travelled you too long, nor dare attempt a more adventurous song. Mahamal verse demands a softer theme, a painted meadow or purling stream, unfit for heroes whom immortal lace, and lines like Regina's, or like yours, should praise.